Uh, my name is Vikas Anant. I'm the CEO uh, of Photon Spot Inc. Um, looks like about what we do. We build scientific instruments uh, for research and development, mainly used in university labs uh, and uh, national labs, uh, a lot of the quantum startups. Um, our hardware that we build uh, is specialized uh, primarily for housing single photon detectors that need to be at sub-Kelvin temperatures. Um, but our price tests are used for other applications uh, as well. Uh, all right, so this is uh, one of our main products. Uh, this is a compact tabletop price stat. Uh, it goes down to uh, 0 0.8 Kelvin or about 800 millikelvin. Uh, it uh, can fit in a 19 inch rack as you can see on the image on the right. Um, it's not very power hungry. You could run this in your um, uh, in your garage, if you wanted to, uh, run it off 110 volts. Um, it can house a lot of detectors or, or other um, experiments. Um, and uh, in addition, it can fit in a suitcase uh, if you want to uh, take it places. Um, the compressor, however, does not. And I'll show you the solution we had for that. Uh, this is a larger version of the of the preceding cryostat. set. Um, this one can fit a lot more stuff in there. So we've built this to fit up to 64 single photon detectors or uh, detector arrays uh, or other um, quantum optics applications. We built these with free space optical access as well. Um, so you can have sub Kelvin temperatures along with uh, free space access and um, and potentially some uh, low vibrations as well. Uh, another uh, uh, price that we've built, um, and this is uh, through funding through an SBIR through DARPA, uh, was a compact uh, rack mountable cryogenic system. So what you see in the box there is uh, a cryostat that can go down to 800 mil Kelvin. It can house a number of detectors, uh, it has a compressor, a helium compressor as well, uh, vacuum pumps to pump it down. Um, it's basically everything is inside that box. Um, uh, and that height is about uh, six rack units. So that's about 10 uh, inches or so in height. Uh, so that's uh, that. Um, another product that, that we've just uh, uh, Put out right now is a temperature stabilized um, cryogenic system. So this is mainly in use for um, just injection arrays and, and, and multiple standard um, type applications where you want to operate at temperatures around 4 Kelvin, but you don't want temperature oscillations. Um, normally, you would have oscillations that would be 100x what we've shown uh, in this plot here where the oscillations are limited to around 3 millikelvin. Um, so there's that. Uh, so where are these cryostats used? Um, one of the applications uh, is for long range optical communications. So we've delivered uh, cryostat, actually one of our first ones um, uh, that went down to sub Kelvin temperatures was used by uh, JPL um, for uh, a NASA mission uh, where they uh, received photons from a satellite that was orbiting the moon that was uh, LLCD or lunar laser communications demonstration. Um, and that housed some of these single photon detectors. Uh, we've uh, recently um, delivered a few other cryostats uh, that are going to be used for the next uh, launch of the Artemis, assuming the first one goes well, uh, that's supposed, that was supposed to happen on Monday. Um, and this uh, will also do optical comm, but this time from the Orion spacecraft itself. Uh, and that in itself is revolutionary because that's broadband from space. And in both of these situations, you can really have a lot more um, data coming down. Um, the other, uh, you know, we have a lot of customers that use our cryostats and detectors for, um, for a lot of applications and they really um, uh, do use these and, and are able to, to you know, get excellent results and publish in, in some of the top journals. So this is just an example of, of a few of them. In nature and science. Um, and uh, here's my contact info in case uh, people are interested in, in talking cryo. Uh,
Thank you.